Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have this integral for you guys. So why don't we just get into the question? Well, hmm, what should we do? Well, we are actually going to use trig substitution. But that being said, what trigonomic trig function should we let x to be? Well, I'm going to give you two reasons why tangent theta should be the one. First of all, because if we see the denominator, if we plug in x equals to tangent theta, then we see that tangent squared of theta plus 1 is equal to sec squared of theta, an easier trigonometric function. And also, if you take the derivative of tangent theta, it will be sec squared of theta. So then we can just cancel out the denominator with that term, right? So then wouldn't it just become more simpler? Yes. So why don't we just try that out? So why don't we just let x to be tangent theta and dx will be sec squared of theta d theta okay and then we also have to do the bounds so when x is equal to 1 we can see that theta will just be pi over 4 and when x is equal to 0 we see that theta will be 0 so then our new integral will be, so i equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the bottom is tangent squared theta plus 1 and the top is ln of tangent theta plus 1. And then we have to, dx is equal to sec squared of theta d theta. And like I said, this tangent squared theta plus 1 is actually sec squared of theta. And then now we can cancel this out. So then all we have is the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln of tangent theta plus 1 d theta. Okay, and now we're all going to use a property that I have explained in some of my previous videos. It's a property that says the integral from a to b of f of x dx is the same as the integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus x dx. And you can watch some of my previous videos to know why this is true. So if we use this formula, then we'll get this will be equal to still the integral from 0 to pi over 4, ln of, but now instead of having tangent of theta, it will be tangent of 0 plus pi over 4 minus theta, which is just pi over 4 minus theta, and then plus 1, d theta. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, we're actually going to expand tangent pi over 4 minus theta using the tangent a minus b formula. So, we'll get the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of... And we actually like this pi over 4 because as we know, tangent of pi over 4 is 1 and we like 1. So, if we expand this, then we'll get ln of... Okay, so the formula is, the denominator is 1 plus tangent of a times tangent of theta or b so it'll be 1 plus tangent of pi over 4 is 1 times tangent of theta and then the numerator is tangent of pi over 4 minus tangent of theta and tangent of pi over 4 is 1 so 1 minus tangent theta and don't forget the plus 1 oh the plus one is actually inside the lawn. D theta. Okay. So now we can just add these up. So we have the integral from zero to pi over four of the lawn of. Okay. The new the denominator stays the same. And the numerator is tan negative tangent theta and positive tangent theta cancel. 1 plus 1 is 2. 
d theta. Now we can split this into two integrals. By we know that ln of a over b is the same as ln of a minus ln of b. So then we can separate this into two integrals. So the first one will be the integral from zero to pi over four of ln of two d theta minus the integral from zero to pi over four of ln of one plus tangent theta, or we could say tangent theta plus one. D theta. So I'll first evaluate this because this is a very easy integral. The answer is theta times ln of two. Then we do pi over four times ln of two minus zero, which is just pi over four times ln of two. Okay. Hmm. Now what do we do? Well, if we notice. I has been set to be equal to this, right? Or ln, or the integral from zero to pi over four of ln of tangent theta plus one. Look what's here: the integral from zero to pi over four of ln of tangent theta plus one. Isn't that just I? Yes. So this is actually just I. Right. So then we know that this is equal to i, because we've said i is equal to this, and we've always went down like this, right? So then we can move this to the right hand side. So we get two i's will be pi over four ln of two. So one i will be just divide this by two. We get pi over eight ln of two. So this is the final answer of this integral that I've put up for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy my videos and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.